Breakthrough pain can only be defined if you have controlled someone's persistent around the clock pain. So breakthrough pain is defined as a patient who has persistent pain that is usually fairly well controlled and then sometimes with, sometimes without warning, they have a second superimposed pain that is present. So that's how we define it. If you don't control the baseline persistent pain, all you have is a picture of uncontrolled pain. There are several types of breakthrough pain. There's incident pain. So it could be under the patient's control or not. So for example, every time I walk to the bathroom, my pain comes back. Or every time I go for physical therapy. It could be due to an incident that's not under the patient's control, such as a bladder spasm. A patient cannot say, I choose not to have a bladder spasm. So it's an incident, but they can't control that. There is something called end of dose deterioration. So when their long acting medication is it's getting close to the time for their next dose and their pain recurs, the answer there is to increase the dose of their long-acting medication or possibly to shorten the dosing interval. And then there's something called non-volitional pain, meaning it's not in response to any incident, whether it is or is not under the patient's control, it's just boom, out of the blue, there it is. No warning, nothing really set it off, it's just there it is.